Darius stops by your quarters to recite an invitation. On behalf of our barracks denizens, I am formally charged with requesting your attendance at an assembly of the mech warriors in the lounge this evening. Libations will be consumed alongside a screening of the recent Solaris Championship. In a less official tone, Darius adds, Zoe managed to pick up an official haul of it somehow. <laughs> I expect that our mech warriors are going to watch the fight and get very, very drunk. The mech warriors welcome you to the lounge. The Hall of It is already playing a highlight reel from last year's championship. Zoe hosts the event with commentary and personal anecdotes about fighting on Solaris 7. When the action gets intense, the mech warriors cheer and shout. You find yourself cheering and shouting right alongside them. Ultimately, Grey Norton wins another championship. But you're having too good of a time with your mech warriors to care. Company morale has increased by two. Greetings operatives and welcome back to Battletech. Today, we're finally, finally doing the Flashpoint. Mostly because I'm very close to just not having any money. So, uh, this is kind of, uh, kind of necessary. Especially, uh, just to, just to show you guys again. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to do any contracts here. Just a hunch. Anyway, Talos here with us again. I was planning to do this one with Prince, but sadly that didn't really work out. Everyone has their own time zones and shit. Anyway, uh, yeah. So it is I. Me. Yes. <laughs> I've never done a Flashpoint before. Um, there's gonna be some dialogue, there's gonna be some decision making. So... Let's jump into the Flashpoint then, shall we? Oh boy. Commander Crimson, before we begin, you must understand that the matters we're about to discuss are to be held in the highest confidence. You are not to repeat anything you are told today, not to anyone, and not ever. Am I understood? We're professionals, Force Commander Singh. We know how to keep our mouths shut. Very good, Mr. Oliveira. I'll hold you to it. Six months ago, an Andorian defense contractor called Black Caldera Defense stole a prototype battle mech, a Raven, from Hellespond Industrials in Cyan. In the intervening time, they have labored on behalf of Dame Catherine Humf Humphreys to reverse engineer it. Presumably for the benefit of the Andorian military. And I'm curious. I can... hmm. Why called Dera defense, huh? Oh. Huh. Andorian based think tank and what was it called the program? Hmm. In sphere politics. Yay! It, and, and also kind of industrial, you know. Industrial competition! Now the Capellans are laying siege to, to Fagerholm, and they are on the verge of taking their prototype back. If they succeed, they will maintain unilateral access to the revolutionary new technologies that the Raven was built upon. For the sake of the inner sphere as a whole, they cannot be allowed. That cannot be allowed to happen. I want you to find the Raven, recover it, and bring it back to me. So they stole a Raven model from Yao to give to Merrick. I can I just mention that I like what in these cutscenes that you have the entire senior staff just sitting around and I didn't even realize there was cutscenes to begin with. This is kind of cool. What is, cool as shit, is this raven exactly? And why is it so important? It's an electronic warfare platform in battle mech form. Sensor disruption, ECM, a whole suite of game-changing technologies, all packed into the chassis of a single high-speed scout. As I said, it's still in the prototype stage. Even the Capellans haven't successfully haven't actually deployed a raven on the battlefield yet. They will soon enough, and when that happens... We're going to need one, too. 
If all this is true, why would you wait until the eleventh hour to do anything about it? The Duchy of Andurian is a province of the Free Worlds of the Free Worlds League. You could have deployed troops to Fagholm months ago. If we'd known sooner, we would have acted sooner. Regrettably, neither Dame Catherine nor Black Caldera Defense saw fit to inform us of their plans. Neither did they tell us when House Liao sent a fleet of sent a fleet to Fagron to reclaim its old property. Indeed, they've done everything they can to keep us in the dark. If it wasn't for the watchful eye of safe, we would have no idea that any of this was even happening. Secret secrets, huh? Okay, we understand the scenario. Tell us how we can help. I want you to, uh, to locate the raven and bring it back to me in one piece. To that end, you will rendezvous with Bravolands of the 5th Defenders of Honduran. Their leader, Ombra, is a niece of mine, and she has operational knowledge of, Cal of Black Caldera's holdings. We've been in contact, and Ombra has agreed to turn against Dame Catherine. She and her lands are patriots. They know enough to prioritize the League as a whole over their own little corner of it. And you're sure that you can trust these people? As well as I trust anyone. Bravo Lens has seen the folly of Dame Catherine's ambition firsthand. Two thirds of their company has died to protect her secrets, and their own mechs are on the verge of falling apart. Umbra is a woman of integrity, but even if she weren't, Bravo Lens has ample motive to see this operation through. I've already agreed to rep repatriate them to Atrus when the job is done. I offered them a fresh start, and they were all too eager to accept it. Can't blame them for that. We'll wander with Bravo Lance and see what they have to say. Very good, Commander. Bring me the Raven, and your company will be well rewarded. I'll speak with you again when your task is completed. the man let's <laughs> make ourselves useful so hmm. first off we got a battle in an urban environment it seems i'm definitely going for payout considering if everyone was bankrupt yeah that's probably a good idea okay holy we can... crap there's actually a maximal yeah we c we can't take an extra lance with and we have 55 we have 55 tons max for each slot Ooh, wow that's holy crap okay Oh, that does mean the Wolverine is not excluded, so I think that's definitely a take-along. I need to remember the fact that these are consecutive missions, so we will either have to send in people fatigued, or make sure that we can send everyone in the squad in at some point or another. So I yeah. shouldn't just send my elites out in, into combat immediately. Also, we don't even know how many consecutive missions there are. There's a chance that we might have to do fatigue if it feels like more than just two. We don't have more than enough pilots. Wolverine, Crimson Axe, Vindy, oh no, not Vindy. Dragons 2, Firestarter. I think this works. 170 total. There we go. That's a good. That's a good starting lens. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Hoorah! Hmm? No, no, Claymore, Claymore, Claymore can, Claymore can handle the fire starter. <laughs> Command interface <coughs> initiated. It's kind of clear that this is out of timeline, but I can probably make a... I can probably make some sort of an excuse of, as to why... <laughs> why they're so interested in, in just a basic raven with an ECM. Here <laughs> we are, Exo. Say it's a... oh, go ahead. Scenic New, New Jakobstadt. 
The shiniest combat zone on Fagaholm. I've got Bravo lands on the comms, and the drop pods are prepared to launch. Are you... Are you reading this, Ombra? Ooh. We read you, and we appreciate the assist. Our metal's been beaten to hell and back over the course of this deployment, and our meat isn't going... isn't doing much better. Truth be told, I don't think we could have survived another deployment without your help. Your Uncle Davender had nice things to say about you, woman of integrity and all that. He's an honorable man. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but he's sticking his neck out to help us, just like you are. When you're as beaten up as we are, that means a lot. Amen to that. Mm. I've been seeing doubles since that last head hit I took, and Conqueror has been bleeding from his ears for three days now. Mm. Is anyone from the fifth going to relieve us? To relieve any of us? Hell no, they haven't. And so here we are again, all loaded up in these busted-ass ceramic cocoons. Getting ready to slam ourselves into the ground for the hundredth time. Speaking of which, watch your head, Commander. We're, pre we're prepped and ready to drop. We've got mechs on the ground, Commander. Ready to advance on the Capellans when, when you are. Sweet, we got reinforcements. Ooh, and a fancy symbol. So you yeah, the Endurian. Oh. Yeah. Also, you can only do. I can voice someone. That's a lot of voices to do. A griffin, a spider, a trebuchet, and a javelin all at moderate to low armor condition. Eh, the armor is not good, but at least their mech tonnage is diverse. I just need to make sure. I just need to. Well, this is just a rather straightforward search and destroy mission. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Also, I think what I was trying to say before was like maybe you can maybe you can pretend this is like a new model of the ECM. Maybe that's maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a different version or something. There we go. We can go out for that. Got it. Make it part. We can we can make it part of the time that way. Hmm. So there's a. Newer ECM model or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, let's try not to. Let's try and not finagle our way too much through that. Yeah. <laughs> Conqueror. Peregrine. Escacha. Escara. Oh, my scotch, it looks like the okay. looking at arms. And Ombra. Oh god, Ombra is in the spider, but then again, look at that evasion. Yeah. We know what armors they're working with? I honestly oh don't god. care. As long as they can fight. Just take a... oh. Ready to get it on. Support and protect Bravo Lance. Move it out! It's gonna be interesting to see how well this. Oh. Uh oh. Heads up, Commander. We've got incoming drop pods. I've tracked them in trajectory and marked their LZ on your screen. Ooh. Capellan reinforcements. <coughs> Lyrans. Looks like how Stein has decided to join the party. Wait, what? I hate parties. Wait a minute, Lyran? Why is Lyran showing up? Why is Dinah showing up? Advantage. Who the fuck knows? I mean, we get my we get my Leal is here. They're here because maybe Steiner is trying is trying to claim dibs on the Raven. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe. And something tells me they're not on our side either, which I'm not going to be a fan of. Three-way combat. Here we go. Engaging jump jets. Hi there, fuckface. Oh well, your pistols hit. Shame about the lasers, though. Commander? Guess just jump and brace your gun. Or a sprint. Unfortunately, you're definitely not close enough right now. Receiving you. Up high. 
<laughs> yeah, I only got the L laser shot. I think you accidentally landed with obstructed view with Winning. your mech. No joy. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm, I see Cody's, I, I see Cody's face, and I immediately just, uh, just think we're working with a fucking. Hold on. <laughs> nah, not gonna work. Yeah. Hold on. Next turn. Cause we're getting closer. Oh hi there. It's time to die. Well, you still, you still nicked him. That's good. guys would actually move, but you know, the, the fact that that Griffin just stood- Ah, now you're moving. Hi there. Take that. Well, you tried. These guys have a lot of LRMs that's gonna make them good support. Hey, one missile hit this time! Into the forest. Good. Be smart. You got a spider with not even full armor, so be smart about it. Percentage-wise, I feel like that javelin has the most armor. Oh. Will you do this? I suggest that you vacate the AO immediately, Commander. <clears throat> the lens that I've just deployed is is under order to destroy any hostile mechs it encounters, including yours. Appreciate the warning, but we're not going anywhere. Not without the prototype, eh? I know what you're here for, Oliveira. We're on the same mission, but for different masters. I don't care what your mission is, Lyron. You aren't welcome here. Bravo lands, light him up. Oh boy. Well, this took a sour uh, turn. That's a that's a locust. The, also, we're we're dealing with a wolverine and a locust. That's it. What can I do for you? Wow, this is their lance. Oh, 50 damage to the coil. On my way. Come on, Cody. Oh, give the good. give this coil a shot. <laughs> you can Going. see it charging. It I love it. Oh, nice kick. 45. Nice kick. Oh, the coil hit the leg. And it breached. The coil breached the leg. That was perfect. It's good we're only dealing with two additional enemy mechs. Order. Yeah. Standing by. And, and it's good that one of them has already gotten into melee range. I you am. dumbass. Engaging. And the arms off. Oh my goodness. Commander. His chances probably won't be that great on those high evasions, so I say just keep pelting the other guys. And hope our friends can deal with the Lyran interference. Eliminate Steiner kill team. This is called a kill team. Unload. Yes! Not bad, not bad. Good shot. It's going good. Go going good. Let's not get too cocky, though. I feel like we might get some trouble later down the line. Okay, PPC missed. Whew. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Big, meaty... I was gonna say punch, but it went for a kick. I think he's got a punch in hand. I'm like, good god. Ooh, Eat shit, Wolverine. And here comes the trebuchet. Oh my god, that's a lot of missiles. It's a trebuchet. I mean, yeah, but... Oh, we softened them up good for them. <laughs> yeah, that Wolverine is taking one hell of a beating. Oh. <laughs> oh! Nice one, guys. Nice one. These Endurians are. Endo Endurian? What's the blank? Oh, yeah. I think that's. I think only one missile hit your side. Come back here. We ain't done with you yet, you gob. And we got another coil for you. Uh. Bonk, right in the leg again. Jeez. Oh! It, he hit the other leg. That coil is effective as hell. That again, goodness gracious! 
This is a support weapon. Good gracious. Warning. Enemy in rear arc. Ow, I got hit oh. by one SRM in the back. What's up, boss? <laughs> Whatever shall I do? Oh, we can backflank the poor Locust. Position confirmed. Time for our first precision strike this mission. Oh boy! Oh, look at that accuracy! Yes! That works too! You still broke something! I think I hit something good. Definitely! Fake. Yes! Yes! <laughs> it's hurting! Yeah, just have her yeah, punch that thing again. You may even cripple its leg. Maybe. Ha! Nope, hit somewhere else. Oh, there goes the other half of their torso. Do you have a torso left? Besides the center, that is. They're armless. They're just completely armless. They're getting an angle on me. They still have one in laser, though. Just attack them where you are. <laughs> looks good, looks good, I'm liking this. Oh yes, pilt him some more. Ooh. <laughs> Get ready for more company, Commander. We've got inbound capellan drop pods. Repeat, Liao, Liao drop pods are on the way. Or Liao. I think, I think the capellans are starting to realize that they're losing ground. Waiting on you, Commander. A lot of ground. Now time to now time to sucker punch this little baby wasp. And being a light mech, this coil is probably gonna hurt. Well, actually, nah, it's not much distance. Only twenty damage. It's gonna be good. Okay. You kicked his leg in. Oh, oh. Bump. You have the fire to burn them and the coil to be our damage punisher. You might want to calm down on those lasers, my dude. You're overheating. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Huh? Oh no. We can backflight the locust again. I copy. Hold on. <gasps> Just ice. Oh. Are you. What's your, what's your game plan here? Firing on multiple enemies. Guess trying to break your leg, I imagine. Oh, nice! Nice, Kenji! Mech destroyed. Good one, Kenji. Nice, Kenji, you make me proud. Fucking ice the locust. We'll clobber him good! <laughs> Just fucking... I did not sign Excellent. up for this! I did not sign up for this! It's not even moving, you buffoon! You're asking to die! You all... God, y'all all are stupid. Rolling. You're just... you asked for this. For physical attack. Did, wait, oh. did that miss? Yes. Aww. Well, I guess you survive another attack, I guess, but I don't think these guys are going to let you get away alive. Case in point. Yep. That dude was a fucking recruit. They sent a recruit. Isn't that really the best you got? You just... CT. You, you just punched it. You just punched the damn torso in. Look up, people! We got another Liao reinforcement lance on the field. Heck of a battle, huh? This, are, like, these guys are excellent support. They but are. They are still doing the. Le I'm like, there's no way we're not doing the heavy lifting here. But still, ah, Dad, you made contact. Now we can't. Now we can't move before they can. 
it's only another. It's another locust. There's only two of you. them again. What kind of reinforcements is this? Pedal to the metal. <clears throat> Remind me, the fire starter is a 35, right? Yep. Alright. Well, at least you marked it, so that's good. And the second mech is a another Wolverine. Did did they just good to copy go. Steiner's plants or something? Moving out. You want you want to give him another locust, Kenji? The highest hit chance. Oh, you're actually gonna go with the Wolverine, huh? I was afraid of all that evasion. <sighs> oh well. It does suck though that the, the one weapon with the highest accuracy was the one to miss. Yeah. Full it also sucks that a lot of our lances a bit too far ahead to already join the fight. I don't want those. I don't want the yeah. Endurians getting beaten too much. But then again, they're already doing pretty good on pelting these guys, and we're still outnumbering them eight to two. So four to one. <laughs> I like those ratios. That makes two. <laughs> you get a missile, and you get a missile. What can I do for you? Got it. Max speed, no shooting. For now. Next turn, though. In the all evasion. Good luck hitting him. The spider's going for a little gabba gabba. Go on, Ombra. Go on. That <laughs> definitely hurt. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> back it up, back it up. You just got something you want done? Brace. Okay. You don't even have that much evasion. Now it has no evasion. And th 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 less structure. Standing by. Affirmative. Yes! There we go. They really want to pelt into this thing, huh? It is Wolverine, so yeah, fair enough. You are likely very dead here, Lucas. Full throttle. Might have taken off a jump jet, but this thing can still run. <laughs> uh, yep. Well, yeah, there's, yeah. Mm. yeah. Standing by. What was that? Sorry, excuse of a locust. Ten four. Fire in front of. Got him. When he he literally just braced. <laughs> I hear you. <ya>. Idiot. <laughs> Fucking moron. It's not uh -huh. gonna save you. Eat coil. And boo. Eat boot and coil. That coil is hitting consistently and I love it. Yes. I have to the hand it to Ombra. She's been exceptionally useful for someone in a fucking spider. Yes, Commander. She knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Let's move. Might even, might even be able to call shot whatever the exposed part is, I think. Which is that entire side of them. Considering this is Kenji we're talking about. Hmm. Not called shot master though, so I guess he still didn't hit the right. But at least high. he's still in high spirits. That means that didn't cost us much resolve. And I mean, he technically hit all the shots Wait, still, regardless. Oh, so that's excellent. I'm there. See, <laughs> Kenji hit all the shots, so that's important. <gasps> And goodbye to that side. 
And the best part is that wasn't even the site that was already damaged. Scored a critical hit. Jesus, that Oof. Griffin is hitting its BBC rather than oh, okay. Goodbye. Yayo's clear, everybody. All hostile contacts down. Thank the gods for that. What a shit show this is. First, first House Liao kicks in our door, then House Stana comes flying in. What's next? The damn Fed Rats? <laughs> fed Rats. Not if I can help it. We're going to find the Raven, grab it, and wipe out every trace of Black Caldera's research project. There's nothing on Vega Home worth fighting over. The Great Houses will pack up their toys and go home. Incoming message. Commander Crimson. Please contact me when you reach a safe altitude. We need to talk. Mission successful. That was a Liao ambassador. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you and fuck you. Mission accomplished. Yay. Yay! That also was a million you, C-Bucks. C-Bucks, yes. <laughs> a million C-Bucks for that mission. Hell yeah, boys. And that was just one of... Who multiple. knows how many more, actually. <laughs> we don't even know how many more there is left. Just that there's multiple. And we barely took any damage. I mean, Kenji was the only one who took any considerable amounts of damage. There was, I, th I think, maybe one PPC or one M la L laser to to the chest. And armor is easily repaired in this game, so I'm taking that Griffin part. Eh, not terrible haul. She says in the corner that you can't load because of the mod. Thank you for speaking with me, Commander. Under ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't reach out to a mercenary in the employ of arrival state, but we are living in extraordinary times. You don't say. What can we do for you, Lady Marina? One of my lieutenants spotted you fighting alongside a detachment of the 5th Defenders of Andurian. While I'm sure that you fought honorably, the cause that you're supporting is anything but honorable. The Duchy of Andurian stole something of great value from the House Liao, and we want it back. We'll pay you a great deal of money to recover our asset and return it to me. <laughs> get it, Lady Marina. See that, see that you do it. If you return what's ours, I'll pull the CCAF out of Fager home, now and f forevermore. You will also receive generous compensation for your services, of course. Money, political asylum for your Endurian friends, whenever you may need. Consider my offer, Commander. I don't want your blood on my hands. You lead an interesting life, Commander. We military types don't get the luxury of negotiating with our op fours. They usually skip the pre preamble and jump straight to the senseless violence. You could always go mercenary when this is all over. Speaking of which, let's talk about what comes next. What comes next is simple. We find out where Black Caldera is keeping its stolen prototype. I can tell you how to do that, but there's something I'm gonna need you I'm gonna need from you in return. It isn't enough to steal the Raven from House Merrick. For House Merrick. We we also need to wipe out every trace of Black Caldera's reverse engineering project. As long as it exists, the Great Houses will tear Fagerholm apart to get at it. That isn't what our client is paying us for. We're here to steal a Raven, not to stop a war. Well, that's too bad. Because you can't get the Raven without our help. And we won't lift a finger if you won't help us protect our home. You won't, huh? Odd stance to take for a bunch of soldiers who just agree to turn against their own government. We agree to, to my Uncle Davender's deal because D Dame Catherine's actions are putting the Andurian people at risk. We are the goddamn defenders of Andurian. We swore an oath to protect this system. And we're gonna do it, even if it means kicking House, hum House Humphreys right, right in the ass. Our lands... Our lancers can help one another to accomplish their goals, or they can go go, go it alone and fail. It's your choice, Commander. You've got a deal. If you help us get the Raven, we'll help you destroy Black Caldera's reverse engineering project. 
I'm glad that we see eye to eye. Frankly, we're gonna need the help. As you saw on that last deployment, this project is bringing all of the great houses out of the woodwork. Clearly. Speaking of which, we, we've got Shogu ya Yamaguchi on, on the line. He wants to talk. Something about a tremendous offer he has for his favorite mercenaries. A simple recovery mission, he says. Take a message, we've got we've got work to do. Damn right we do. Commander, I'm sending you the details on the Black Caldera convoy. If you hit it, you should find the intel we're looking for. The location of the prototype Raven and the coordinates of Black Caldera's R&D facility. Bravo Lance, you're with me. We'll keep the Capellans off Commander Crimson's back. We all know what you have to do, so let's get it done. Good hunting, Bravo Lance. We'll catch up with you on the other side. convoy now, huh? Well, that's for next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and as always, take care, mech warriors. <laughs>